Hello, welcome to Anson Preference Occasional Series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we're looking at tangent planes in MATLAB using Taylor's Theorem. So I'm not really going to concentrate on the maths, you know, I'm leaving that up to your maths section. I just want to get the Taylor series in MATLAB, just and I'm only going to do a very simple one and then plot it. So first just to remind you here the f of x is the f of a that's to say we're going to point all right it's going to be one so it's the f of one plus the derivative of the function at one by x minus one second derivative at one over two factorial and x minus one squared etc 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 and the other reason i put this in was some what you know, just as an excuse to remind you why you use the taylor series this function here the sine of x squared you can't really integrate but you can break it down into a series of powers using a Taylor series expansion and you get then able to evaluate there between 0 and 1 okay so start the program uh, so we close uh, all the figures we clear the workspace and uh, sorry we clear the screen here and we clear the workspace here with the clear all create my simple function uh, x is 0 to 3 with 200 spaces and function is y because the square root of x uh, I'm plotting x, y and remember the k is black so I get that nice black line there now so the function is y because the square root of x differentiate the square root of x that's x to the power of a half I assume you know this and that's a half x to the power of minus a half now for this simple example we're only going to use the first term and the first derivative you know, just two terms anymore it's just well, not necessary I'm only trying to get the idea across so go back up here so the f of x is the f of 1 plus the first derivative at 1 by x minus 1 so a half x to the minus a half is the differentiation so it's the f of 1 so that's 1 plus a half now x to the power of x to the power of minus a half but remember it's one to the power of something and one to the power of something is one which is itself by x minus one so it looks like there's a term missing but x to the power of minus a half and x is going to be one in here so one to the power of anything just comes one so there isn't a term missing it just looks like there is i plot a line x l remember L is the differentiation which is the linearized function and we're using blue and we're putting on the grid we're labeling the x-axis that's what's on the x-axis x-axis the font name is times font size is 12 same for the y label and for the title that'll appear on the graph now set a white background remember GCF is um, uh, get the current frame handler so we're setting that to white and then GCAs get the current axis and we're just putting some you know, font name there etc. So what we have, there's the original one sorry, yeah, the black is the original I remember blue is the approximation remember, just go back here um, I plotted x comma l where l is the Taylor series slow down here at x equals 1 that's the tangent plane there and we've plotted the tangent plane you can see we've linearized the function at the tangent plane just hitting the function y equals the square root of x so we've just done a first order approximation now I had since uh, I had to do this in another machine and I put in uh, you can rotate the figure but I put in a view so we could rotate it from a number of views now all this appeared on the when I wrote it as a script is I'm seeing it at the second view of 10 100 but you might look at 140 160 as well one other thing to note here I didn't do it in the script I just put it in as a comment I could save the figure and that's how I saved the figure and that would save to your present working directory which hopefully will be your Z drive next one up I did y equals 9 minus x squared minus y squared I 
I know I should have done my superscript in MATLAB, so it's 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And the first order approximation, as before, you know, close all, clear all CSE, you know this by now. I did my mesh grid, 0 to 2. There's my z values, and remember the dot power. So remember, the dot power is you square each individual component in x and each individual component in y. And I've plotted it there, and I've put in the face color is magenta, and the edge color is black, etc. And I put on the plot, and there the f1 of 1. Now I assume you can do uh, x squared minus y squared. I assume you can do that. So there's, um, so I might just go down to the graph. We have some of it there, okay. I may have jumped a little bit, but I'll just go back here. So, we're going to add the tangent plane, and the differentiation is done manually, so I, I just worked it out. So, in my head, I could have used a diff command with symbolic text, but I didn't. just did it manually. So, the f1 of 1 is 9 minus 1 squared minus 1 squared, which is 7. So, L here, it's 7 minus, differentiate x squared is 2x to the power of 1. Differentiate y squared is 2y to the power of 1. So 2 by 1, because x is 1, by x minus 1, minus 2 by 1, by y minus 1. So that's generated. There is going to be my tangent plane. There's my mesh command. I've put up the face color, the face alpha, and the edge color is black. Put on the grid, put on the box, set it at a particular view, because I just didn't want to rotate it. Put in the X label, the Y label, the Z label with the various font names and font sizes. Set a white background and get the current axis and put in the relevant font name, etc, etc. And on that line there is the optional save. There's in purple is y equals 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And then on this particular view, I can't remember where the view is, 130, 155, there is the tangent plane. Okay, so thanks very much for listening. Thanks, bye.